Meg spotted run out of Kensington Palace in tears after Kate discovered Meg cheap trick attack car F. Since becoming the Duchess, Meghan Markle's appearance has changed quite a lot. Her makeup, her outfits, her hair, everything has become a little bit more refined and elegant. It's safe to say that all changes have happened for the better. Now Meghan's face is probably one of the most recognizable faces in the world and, boy, it's a pretty one. However, some fans think the Duchess went a little bit too far to look the way she looks right now. Some social media users created a new controversy concerning the Duchess of Sussex looks. After comparing her old photos with the new snaps, they strongly believe that Meghan bleached her skin color. These crazy rumors come after Markle's strong words against colorism or any drastic Photoshop retouching. She said that one of her biggest pet peeves is when her skin tone is changed and freckles are airbrushed on the photos. In other news, Meghan Markle's comments directed at Gate, the Duchess of Cambridge in the bombshell Oprah interview with Really Damaging, it has been claimed. Meghan Markle told Oprah Winfrey that Kate made her cry ahead of her wedding after stories suggested that it was Meghan Markle who had made Kate cry. The Mail on Sunday's assistant editor Kate Mansey claimed these comments damaged the relationship between Princes Harry and William. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms. Mansey said, It was such a shame. It was described to me as civil which is Palace courtier for what the rest of us would refer to as frosty. You do wonder whether it could be their kind of gift to the Queen to make up somehow. But there's been so much said obviously, Oprah. I do think those comments aimed at Kate were extremely damaging to the brothers' friendship. Then we have this book coming out and who knows what will be in it. Reports had circulated ahead of the Sussexes' nuptials that Meghan left Kate in tears at Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting, but Meghan told Winfrey the reverse happened. Meghan said she was not sharing the information to be disparaging, and described Kate as a good person, but added it was really important for people to understand the truth. Meghan said Kate apologized and bought her flowers, adding that she has forgiven her. She told the chat show host, the narrative with Kate, which didn't happen, was really, really difficult and something that. I think that's when everything changed really. Winfrey pressed Meghan, so specifically, did you make Kate cry? Meghan said no and when asked where that story came from and whether there was a situation where Kate might have cried, Meghan said, no, no, the reverse happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing and she did what I would do if I knew that I'd hurt someone, right, to just take accountability for it. Harry and Meghan crossed the red line in deciding to walk away from the monarchy, a royal biographer has said. Angela Levin said the Queen was a patient woman but that she was devoted to her sense of duty and the protection of the royal family. The Queen, doesn't want the royal family's name to be tainted in that way and this, I think, crossed the red line, she said. She's a very patient woman, she's not a micromanager. She lets her children and grandchildren do what they want up to a certain extent and when they overstep that, she comes down.